Hello, this is Charlie Ingalls and I'm speaking to you from Ottawa, Canada today. I'm the developer of the mobile SCD Cribs app. And before we get into details about the app, I'd like to thank various people who have been involved in the development. Uh, primarily Aslam from Scottish Country Dance Database, the Strathspace server, and James from Minicribs, as well as Keith from Keith Rose Diagrams. I'd also like to mention Lydia Hedge, who has uh, checked out the app before it's being released and also has edited any of the text that I've incorporated with it. The app itself was originally just designed for dancers who may be going to socials or dances and w w would rather just use the phone that they happen to have with them rather than having to take a piece of paper as well. They could refer to the phone and see the crib for the upcoming dances they were about to dance. However, the crib seems to have been enjoyed by teachers as well and I've received quite a lot of feedback from teachers asking for additional features, which I've incorporated in this uh, version of the app. Uh, one of the major asks was to be able to transfer the program or the list that you have on one device to another. And that can now be done through using a QR code. So you can now transfer from tablets to phones, from phones to tablets, from Android to Apple devices and vice versa. You can also duplicate lists if you want. And the Keith Rose diagrams that used to only be available if you were using the app online can now be used offline as well. So if you store a program and go to a location where you can't get any internet access, you'll still be able to see the Keith Rose diagrams. There are various other features which I will cover in the following video showing you the uses of the app. And now here we are in the app. I'm running it on a tablet at this point, but of course, as I said before, it can be also run on phones as well. The first page recognizes the people who have been involved, as I mentioned earlier. This will appear every time you open the app, but once it's open, you can go down to the close button here and click on the close button and you'll be taken to the list page. If this is the first time you've been using the app or you've deleted all the lists that you had previously, you'll be asked to create a list and enter a name. We'll just call it list one and say save. And notice it's we've now created list one here at the top, uh, but there's no dances in it. So the next thing is to add dances to the list. We come to the search area at the top here and we just enter as many characters as we need to find the dances we're looking for. I've put follow M in there, put all the dances with follow M and something else there. I'll choose follow me home. And that dance is added to our list. We can add dances various different ways, uh, obviously by their name. We can also put in the dance divisor. I'm going to put in uh, Drury as we know, there are many dances from him, and it will give you a list of the John Drury dances. This can be scrolled up and down as you want to see them. Obviously with Drury there are an awful lot there. But we'll just choose one of his dances, click on that, and that dance is added to the list. You can also find dances by putting in the format of the dance, so a 32 bar reel, space hyphen, space for five couples, and you'll see the dances there. I'm going to choose the black mountain reel. And now we have these dances all added to our list. If we've got the dances in and we decide to change the order of the list, all you have to do is click on that and you can move the dances around on the list. Notice once you've got the list composed, you can click on any of the titles and you'll be taken to the details page. In this case, with Black Mountain Reel, we see the Keith Rose diagram. They'll only display if they're available and also the crib for that dance. On the next tab, you'll see the videos. There are up to six videos available for each dance. And if 
you've gone more info information, you'll get additional information about the dance and also full instructions online and you can click on that and you'll see the instructions for the dance. Again, this doesn't exist for every dance. So that's the information you see for each dance. Obviously some dances may not have any more information, some dances don't have videos and some dances will either have a Keith Rose diagram or a crib but not both. If you want to get rid of a dance from the list, you've decided you don't want that on the list, you can just swipe right or left and the dance will be deleted. So let's see what other things we can do here. Uh, we can create a new list. So if we wanted a, a second list, I'll just call it list two in this case. Again, you'll get a blank new list and you can add new dances to this just as easily as you added the dances before. Davy Knickknack. So now we have two lists. Now both of them are automatically saved for you. If you want to see what lists you have, you can come down to display saved lists and you'll notice there's list one and list two. And by clicking on the list and saying load list, you'll be taken to that list. And you can work on it, add new dances, delete dances or whatever. You can also do various other things. For instance, list one is not terribly helpful, so I may want to rename the list. So I can just type in social May 23rd and save it and notice the names changed at the top there and if we go back in and display saved lists we see there's two lists but it's been renamed to this. So those are the things that you can do with the lists. You may want to duplicate a list depending on uh, your, your use of the app. So I've added a duplicate list here. Enter name for your duplicate list. Let's see. List to duplicate. And see, duplicate the list. And then if we go to the display safe lists, you'll now see you've got lists two, list two duplicate, and they renamed list one. So we've taken care of the uh, creating a new list, renaming a list, duplicating a list, and displaying a saved list. Another thing you can do with this app is you can get lists from the Scottish Country Dance database if they're public lists. You will have to know the uh, four or five digit number of the list, and you can find that by going to the Scottish Country Dance database. So for instance, I can click on this, enter the number of the public list. I know that there's a public list 1000 and I can either load the list or I can give it a name to save the list here. I'll call it 1000 download and load list. Now this will take a little while to do. There's the list. And again, by copying in this list from there, when you click on it, you'll see the information, the videos, and the additional information for that dance. These can also be moved around within the list, and they can be deleted if you wish to delete them. Now one other feature I was asked for and that I've added is to be able to transfer the list from one device to another, say from your tablet. If you've got the list set up on the tablet and you want to put it on your phone, you can do that uh, on transfer list to another device and a little QR code will appear at the bottom. What you then do is take the other device, device and you click on the load list from another device, point your camera at the QR code 
and this list will then be copied over onto your other device. Maybe you've stored up several lists and one of them you don't need any longer. Say for instance, display saved list, uh, the social on May 23rd's over, we don't need it any longer. You can bring back that list there and delete the current list. And it asks you if you want to do that. And if you say yes, it deletes that list. And then it will ask you which list you now want to work with. Do you want to uh, load uh, one of the other lists or do you want to create a new list? Uh, and we could create a new list, for instance, list three. And now we've got another blank list numbered list three. So I hope this has been helpful to show you some of the features of this app and I'm always open to suggestions for other features as we move along.